All right, y'all check it. It's that Get Right at Night right here on Power 98.3, 96.1 for the East Valley. Y'all see who's next to me. I ain't got to do no introduction. G.T. Garza. What's up? What's up, man? Do a lot of people say it like that, Garza? No, but I like that. That was nice. Garza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feel about that? I like, remember uh, growing up in my school, man, uh, in Houston. My, my teachers called me G.T. because they kept calling me Gennaro. Oh. Cause my first name's Hanato. Okay. And I was like, ah, can we just, can we, you know, y'all slaughtering my name right now? Can we change it to something else? All right, man. Look, real quick, for people watching this, or uh, hearing this, uh, three things that they need to know about you. What would those three things be? I am a Mexican hip hop artist from Houston, Texas. Dang, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> you go right there, very simple. Look, we had a Dice Soho up in here maybe like last week, and I was talking to him about the culture of Houston. For the coldest minute, y'all were running things, you know what I'm saying, for a cold second. But now it kind of died down a little bit. I wanted to get from you on why you think that is and how y'all going to get back to that level. Um, To me, I think, you know, hip-hop just goes in time, and everybody has their time when their hip-hop or their, their mm -hmm. scene gets jumping, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And and I think, like, uh, people with Atlanta, they've always been jumping over the years, you know what I'm saying? So they've been blessed. For us, you know, we had our time with the Faces, the Ghetto Boys, and the, and the Paul Walls, and the Flips, and the Slim Thugs. So for Houston to just come around full circle and bring up a new generation of people mm -hmm. and, and them starting to break out, it's a blessing, man. And to be able to catch that wave as well mm -hmm. and still be cool with the legends to be able to come out here and work. And you're still cool with the legends. I was reading or I saw that that a Slim Thug lets you sell T-shirts out of his Wraith or, or, oh. or you learned how to hustle out that or how does that work? So me and my homie Money Mike, man, we um literally like went with Slim Thug in his Wraith, pulled up on people at barber shops, at CD stores, and he was like, look, man, I'm just going to put y'all up on game and show y'all how to oh, do this independently. Snap. And he was just like, look, if y'all if y'all want to go do this and this is something y'all interested in, this is how you do it. Oh, and so we basically was like, yo, bro, you just pulling up the places and then, like, for Slim, in like 30 minutes, people are like, Whew. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we just had to learn, like, okay, we're going to take a week to promote and then we're going to pull up there. And it worked, you know what I'm oh, saying? So God. we learned from him a lot of different games. So salute to Slim, man. Appreciate all the game, boss, for real. There you go right there. Now, in Houston, it's easy for you to do some numbers just in Houston. How do you take that outside to the rest of the world? Well, basically, I kind of learned through, like like I said, through Slim and everybody learning all the streets and how to, you know, press up albums. Like, we still sell CDs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like... Is it worth it? Man, I sell CDs for $20 a piece. And they still buying them? Man, what? That's like a hidden gem. Like y'all don't got uh, iPhones, Android. No, what people got, got people got <laughs> Metro PCS. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Metro PCS, man. Hey, I let your boy, man. Hey, I ain't mean it like that. Nah, but for real. Um, I think you know, just um, in general, man. Um, you know, just with time and everything coming together, bro. Houston's on a good path and yeah. making music, and and we we on the up and up right now. There you go, right there. Being a Mexicano in the game, how is that for you? You don't see too many. I mean, off the top of my head, let me try to name some. Uh, a Cap G. Uh, Baby Bash, and there's some newer ones that I want to ask you about, like Lil Xan, Lil Pump. There's two different spectrums of that, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about the Mexicanos being represented right now in the game? It's just all where you come from in the age bracket that you're in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't complain about what kids are doing, what the old generation is doing. Like, you just have to let music be what it is. There like, now we're not all from the same time era or phase, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People hit music and jam music at a different, you know, they caught it at different moments. Yeah. So you just kind of got to respect everybody for what they do. And as long as they don't get out of line and just be super crazy, then you're good. But for that fact, man, you got to let everybody shine and do their thing, man. Yeah, the super crazy one would be Takashi69. I think he's Mexican, I think. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, He's yeah. a super yeah. crazy one right yeah, there. I mean, it's whatever you vibing to, man. Whatever's yeah. your feel, whatever. Because there's people in NY probably rocking with them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can't be mad at the kid. There you go right there. Do you feel like you get boxed in at being one of those like Chicano rappers? And, and, and do you like being boxed in in that? Or do you want to expand and be like, yo, I'm, I'm a hip-hop artist? Man, I think just being... In the game, I think, I wouldn't even say labeled a Chicano artist, um, but if they label me that, I'm cool with that too, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? I think really we, our whole thing is just to make sure that we get respected on the mic and stay relevant, make sure we put out the best product, the best music, you know, at each time that we can. Because you've been doing this for like 10 plus years, right? How Man, long? yeah, bro, me and Chris go, go back a long time. Uh, yeah, Chris go, oh. <laughs> Ah, that's my dog, man. <laughs> you know, he, he actually helped me when I was a young teen, bro, really? and yeah. helped me like, just kind of learn things in the game and, and how the radio worked and, you know. Oh, snap. Man, he put me up on a lot of game, bro. Yo, shouts to Chris Goku. You don't do that no more, but shouts bro. to Chris Goku. <laughs> shouts to Chris Goku. I don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling, I'm chilling. All right, man, so talk to us about you. Latest and the greatest music-wise, what's happening, what's popping? Man, right now we just broke, uh, bro, we just put out a new uh, album called Brown Bar Honor 2. Okay. 
It broke uh, hip hop in top forty. We came in at number thirty seven on the charts. Nice. So we just been pumping that. We got a tour coming up called Brown Boy Honor Two, the fifth year anniversary. This CD is dedicated for five years that we put out our last Brown Boy Honor, and that was in twenty thirteen. So this is kind of like a recap of everything we've been doing for five years. Okay. So you know the fans gonna get it. It's out right now. iTunes, Google Play, all digital platforms, and we'll be coming on tour uh, this summer. And they'll be selling physical CDs. Physical CDs CD yeah. still, bro. I know everybody ain't got a twenty seventeen baby, you know. I mean, they still got the cores now, too. You can put the cord Whoa. in, plug it into your phone, and you see, like, new phones and new cars, they, they run off of Bluetooth now. That's right. So you can't even have none of that. Everything's just getting obsolete. I'm trying to remember the last CD, CD I bought. Can you remember the last CD? Other than your own, mm. what's the last CD you bought? And I don't even have a CD player in my car. What you got? See, that's the thing. I got Bluetooth. Oh, uh, see? <laughs> that's the thing. But I know everybody, you know what I'm saying? You got to cater to everyone. So, every, go, so right everybody there. can feel, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody's still jamming CDs or, you know, a couple people do. So as long as there's money on the table, I'm going to go pick it up. There you go right there. Are you uh, trying to appeal to everybody or, or what, what, who would you say GT Garza is, is talking to? What's your, who's your audience? Ooh, that's a good one. Well, for a, a long time, man, I really just thought it was people that were kind of just going through the same thing I was. So that's why I put out CDs like Ramba Honor, Richie Valens. And things of that nature. And then, you know, once I slowly learned more about myself and who I was, I just felt like music was so much bigger than me. Nice. And it, it became more about just what I was saying to the people instead of just who I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think the power of word is, is very strong. I like it. I like it. Give everyone your social networks, uh, anything you want to tell them. Go ahead. Talk to them. Man, it's your boy GT Garza. We're rocking today. Make sure to pick me up. We on iTunes, Google Play title all digital service make sure and hit us up lamakinaempire.com youtube.com backslash gt guards tv shout out to my dog jesus in the Ooh. house you know we're here man <laughs> there you go right there <laughs> get right at night